the report itself uh, um, encompasses uh, the latest science about the cryosphere, which is basically the frozen part uh, of our planet, and uh, the ocean. So I was specifically working um, on sea level rise and the coast. So this is the area where I would like to give you the kind of the, the most interesting outcomes. So I specifically worked uh, on uh, how people and uh, ecosystems are impacted uh, at the coast and water adaptation options. After 2050, uh, uncertainty is larger. Um, this is important because uh, this uh, can guide our um, uh, decision making about appropriate adaptation. So, what we already can do uh, now at the coast, uh, uh, first, uh, to actually manage uh, uh, the uh, reasons why regional sea level rise uh, is happening. Um, is, uh, um, sea dikes, we can use uh, dams, we can uh, use also ecosystem-based uh, measures to, to use nature to help us, or to, to help, better to say, to help nature to help us. Uh, so that would uh, entail, for example, wise management of mangroves along the shoreline so that they can actually stabilize uh, the shoreline. Um, mangroves uh, have been shown also to be able to keep up with a moderate level of sea level rise, keeping up. We can think of uh, um, uh, salt marsh restoration uh, or uh, um, taking care for our maritime forest. Uh, uh, but it's always, always important to say that these measures need to be combined uh, in a package so that they uh, uh, fit uh, to the lo local situation and uh, they remain um, flexible enough so that with 2050, uh, when we see how actually uh, sea water rises, sea level rises uh, uh, unfolding, we can adjust and uh, we can remain flexible.